welcome back. I'm so glad you're joining us this morning. We are studying the book of Exodus uh, together, sort of devotionally. We're in Exodus 16, verses 8 to 12. We've been reading through every, basically every verse in the book of Exodus, 40 chapters. We're approaching the halfway point here, but not quite yet. Today, verses 8 to 12, Moses said, This will happen when the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and bread to the full in the morning. For the Lord hears your grumblings, which you grumble against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard your grumblings. It came about as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the sons of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the grumblings of the sons of Israel. Speak to them, saying, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. So here's an important, uh, some important quick bits here on this. These grumblings, they're against Moses and Aaron, but actually, actually, actually they're what? They are actually grumblings against God. When we grumble against somebody who is God's true servant, God's actual leaders, we are grumbling. There's no way around it here. You're grumbling against God. If God is with the leaders, I mean truly with them, and you grumble against the leaders, you're grumbling against God. These it's the whole assembly of the congregation, right? Was that yesterday morning we saw that? The whole assembly is grumbling against God. This, is, this, isn't, this isn't quite right. It's not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, be careful there. Be careful about moaning about your leaders. Just make sure your leaders are on track. Now, the second of the three things I want to bring out here in this little item today is uh, God calls the assembly together. <laughs> You're all going to come and appear before me. And then God manifests his glory and they must have heard it or seen it or sensed it. And, and you know, God was right there with the cloud, the, the cloud, the, the fire, the pillar of fire and, and mist in the cloud. And they must have sensed his presence there as they're kind of summoned. And uh, God is basically, hey, you know, you guys stand up straight. God is here. So they need to, uh, they need to get into a respectful mode here. Uh, they're appearing before the God. They've been summoned to appear before the God of the universe. And, and the third thing here, I already kind of mentioned this before, but these people are not acting right, and yet God, in his gracious concession, he's going to give them food. He's going to give them food in the evening and in the morning. Kind of takes you back to Genesis 1, doesn't it? The evening and the morning. The evening and the morning were the first day. The evening and the morning were the second day. The evening and the morning were the third day, and so on. God provides what we need, and he's going to be training these slaves. These, well, they're not slaves anymore, but they still have slave think in their head. And so he's going to be training them up to be have faith think, to have trust, basically to have that friendship, that one-on-one -on -one personal relationship, the friendship between us and Yahweh, the individual thing. He's our father. He's daddy. We're his kids. Uh, there's a very close line he wants, but they're they're stuck with slave think, and God wants them to have faith think. So he's he's just going to dish out good stuff for them, you know. That's like the kid that does all wrong to his parents, and yet the parent feeds them and takes care of them in every which way. God is uh, God is taking into account. Okay, you guys have been slaves for 400 years. I get it. We're gonna we're gonna get through this together. And so God's just graciously says, "I'm going to give you some food here." Uh, even though they're out of line and all their moaning and complaining. So God, we can be very glad that God is so good to us. He loves us. And many times he ignores our transgressions because he wants to love us up and he wants to get us into that spot where it is a personal faith connection between us and the mighty king of the universe. May God bless each one of us as we do that. See you tomorrow morning. Oh, hey, let me remind you, Mondays at 12 noon, that is America, Detroit time. Uh, I do just a quick little YouTube live, probably usually around 25 minutes. We kind of go over the different videos and things we brought out during the past week and catch up on a couple of things. Come and join me in a YouTube live right about that time uh, in the next week.